Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, the family of a 21-year-old University of Georgia student, a student who lost her battle to a rare brain condition. That family speaking out for the first time since her death. My first sister taught me that tomorrow is no guarantee and a sunrise is a blessing. Back in March, 21-year-old Liza Berg suffered a brain hemorrhage while in spring break on a trip in Mexico. Her mom had her flown to Mayo Clinic here in Jacksonville, where doctors discovered Burke had a tumor growing on her brain stem. Despite aggressive efforts to shrink it, Burke finally succumbed to a rare condition called glioblastoma. News for Jack's reporter Eric Gavinier stayed in touch with Liza's family. He's joining us live with more on her fight for survival. Eric? Once Liza was put on a medical plane back to Jacksonville, her family had a lot of hope that she would pull through. But when radiation therapy could not shrink the tumor that was growing on her brain stem, the glimmer of hope uh, started to fade as Liza was put on hospice. 21-year-old Liza Burke spent her last days alive in the one place her relatives say she loved, by the water with her family and friends. She definitely perked up, and I think she really enjoyed being here. Her last night when she was feeling well, we came out here and we had a bonfire. And she was sitting where you're sitting and with all her friends and all of us here. Liza was released from the hospital and placed in hospice after doctors told her family she was not going to survive a rare brain condition, a painful reality her family was forced to accept. Her brother Jack described what the last two months have been like for him and the rest of the family. Hell, really bad, awful, but beautiful at the same time. Um, death is ugly, but pulls people together. Back in March, Liza was with her boyfriend and several other friends in Cabo San Lucas on spring break when she suffered a brain hemorrhage. It happened while she was sleeping. Doctors in Mexico stabilized Liza so that a medical airplane could fly her to Jacksonville. Mayo Clinic doctors found a tumor growing on her brain stem. Radiation therapy to shrink the tumor seemed promising, but the tumor kept growing. And then quickly, because of her tumor, um, you know, she just was unable to respond like she had been. At age 21, Liza had everything going for her. She was about to graduate college with a degree in business management and Spanish. She also had a job lined up in Charlotte, North Carolina, following her planned graduation. But a deadly brain tumor ended Liza's hopes and dreams of a future. While Liza is no longer here, her family says her legacy will live on like a never-ending flame. And a lot of people who are, have reached out just to say, we heard her story, and she sounds like an amazing, inspiring young person. Now, the University of Georgia will honor Liza during a candlelight vigil tomorrow. Ironically, tomorrow is the anniversary of uh, the death of Liza's younger sister, Edie, uh, who died from a rare genetic disorder uh, back in 2008. Coming up at 11, more on Liza's legacy and how it will help science and education. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.